Hey y'all, so today I am making cheesecake. My cheesecake. I was literally getting ready to say that it was your cheesecake. But you just had, <laughs> I ain't even gonna stunt. This cheesecake is the absolute, the, like it's the best cheesecake I've ever had in my life, vegan or non-vegan, it is very good. So good that our children like requested over the birthday cake. So instead of a birthday cake, they want daddy's cheesecake. Damn. I want y'all to know, like, I worked hard. Look at this. You see all them scratches? That's a real recipe. Yeah. Ain't gonna lie, I'm a little nervous because, y'all, this is his recipe. Like we already said. Don't mess it up. See? Then you should just make it and let me nah. record you making it. Nah. But you're gonna be on my... Watch, he's gonna be over my shoulder. Nope. Yeah, that's not how you're supposed to do it. You need to turn your wrist this way when you stir it. So stay tuned, we're about to get it cracking. It's gonna be so good. I already know, I can taste it. Lucky y'all, y'all literally just get to sit here and watch it all the way till the end. Y'all don't get to have to see yeah, all the behind go, the scenes We gotta go stuff. in there. Well, Set up. You gotta go in there. <gasps> mm. Come on. You better not have. <laughs> you better not mess up this cheesecake. It's so good. Can't forget my candy. How much you? Okay, so I just combined the pecan shortbread cookie crumbs and I added the crushed graham cracker crumbs. So shortbread crumbs graham cracker crumbs and they in a relationship together they go together now right now okay and now i need to melt the butter all right so now i'm just putting the butter in the pot so that i can melt it zam because this is for our graham cracker shortbread crust you do not want to burn your butter. You just want to melt it down. It don't need to brown, none of that stuff. So now the butter is melted. See that? I'm about to go ahead and add it to my cookie crumbs. All right, and I added the butter to the bowl of the crumbs of cookies. And it smells good, y'all. And this is just the graham cracker and the shortbread and butter. But look at that. And as I'm mixing it, I'm just mashing it in because some of the cookies are still very chunky, but with the moisture, it's gonna help them get smooth how we want it. Oh, it smells so good. One in there. I have a feeling I'm gonna be moving it around, so I'm not tripping on how accurate it is. I just need to get them in the pan. So I'm gonna start pressing it in there into their spots. All right, so now we have our crust in there and it's pressed in really well. All right, so I'm gonna cover this and put it in the refrigerator until it's firm. And while it firms up, we're gonna go ahead and make our filling, our cheesecake filling. So let me wrap this up and then I'll be back. So now I have to boil my cashews. I honestly should have did this before I did the crust, but y'all, I'm just cooking, okay? You don't need to let the cashews boil that long. I'm only gonna let them boil for maybe like five to eight minutes, just until they get a little bit soft, but it's cashew, so it's not gonna be all the way soft. Just enough to make sure that it blends really well. While we wait for the cashews to boil, I'm gonna go ahead and zest the lemons. So not only are we gonna use this lemon for zest, we're also gonna use the juice out of them. So make sure these are clean. I feel fancy. So first I'm going to zest my lemon. I really wanna say, okay, so we gonna zest the lemon. Okay, now I done zested this lemon. It's naked. All exposed for the people. Goodness gracious. 
I'm about to turn the cashews off because they sound like they ready. They, they ready to party, but we not ready for them now. All right, so I zested the rest of my lemons. So you're gonna zest approximately two lemons. Now them same lemons that we just zested, we're gonna use for our lemon juice. So let me go ahead and cut that up. And so now we have this juicer. So all I'm gonna do is put the half on here and twist. I love this device because it gets all the juice out. And then it has a seed catcher thing at the bottom so that you don't have seeds in your actual juice that you collected, unless they're tiny seeds. And I just do it until the lemon feels thin. Like, so you know, that's how you know you got all the juice out. Come on now. This will be so cute for like some um, lemon berry jello shots. You know, like you could fill this up. They're good. You know what I mean? Babe, you know what I mean. Now I have all my ingredients together and I'm just gonna give y'all a quick rundown of what I have. So I have my cashews, I have my lemon zest, I have my lemon juice, I have my thickener, another thickener. Both of these are thickeners and I feel like you could use either or, but I'm gonna follow the recipe how it's supposed to be. Yeah, make sure you don't, don't change nothing. Do it right. I was literally telling them that. And then I have my maple syrup, coconut cream, Make sure it's cream, y'all, because the way that this man stressed me out, because we had coconut milk, but he was like, I need cream. So make sure it's coconut cream, okay? Hey, if you want to mess it up. And then you need your cream cheese, vanilla, and then I also have coconut oil. I think that's it. Oh, and pink salt. <laughs> And then next I'm gonna add my cream cheese and I'm just gonna put that whole thing in there. Now it's time for your coconut cream. Coconut cream. It is pretty creamy. All right, so now I have that in there and now I'm gonna add in my lemon juice. My lemon zest. syrup. Ooh. Leave it up to me. I always make some type of mess. Coconut oil before it starts to get thick again. <laughs> like me. And now it's time for our vanilla. So I'm going to add in the cornstarch and then the xanthan gum. And then it says a pinch of salt. Four, I feel like four is a pinch. All right, let's blend this up, y'all. I'm so nervous. I don't have to scrape the sides, but I want to, because I want to make sure I'm getting all that. I don't want to waste any of the ingredients. It ain't even blended up all the way. Oh my God. A little bit too good. Might be better than yours. Now, if you want the full recipe, you can definitely join my community because I have membership now, you guys. So anything that I post and you need the full recipe because I'm not seeing any measurements, right? Just telling y'all what's in there. If you want the full recipe, I'm gonna give y'all my cash app and my PayPal, my Venmo. I'm about to turn this back on. Like the memberships, that's cool. Like, <laughs> you want to support Mineapple Vegan, but if you want to support your boy, all right, y'all, so I got it all blended up, super smooth. We tasted it, it tastes delicious. Let me show y'all how creamy this got. Cashews. Let me go ahead and get them in their spots. And as you can see, our graham cracker crust set very beautifully. Oh, wait a second. That's good. We have the oven preset for 325 degrees Fahrenheit. You don't necessarily have to do a water bath, but since that's the way he does it, I'm gonna do it that way because I refuse to be the one that messes up this recipe. So basically I'm gonna get a pan and put water in it and then put it on the bottom rack. 
and then I'm going to put this on the middle rack. So I'm not going to actually put the pan in the water bath. It's just going to be underneath it to steam it up. Okay, so this is about how much water I'm going to put on the bottom rack. And then I'm going to put that in the middle rack. So let's do that. So bottom rack. And then that's going to go directly over it. And then how long? Uh, between 30 and 40 minutes. So, so let's 30. do 35 and I'll check on it in 35 minutes. All right, y'all. So it's going to take about 30, approximately 30 to 45 minutes for it to cook. I'm going to check on it in about 35 minutes. But you need to basically assess how your oven cooks to your desired doneness. What you want is to be able to stick a toothpick in it and the toothpick comes out clean, just like any other baked good. But actually, I got to make my topping. All right, so now it's time for me to do my frosting. All I'm going to do is a full tub of sour cream. And I'm, it's room temperature. That's important because you need to be able to work with it. So one whole container of sour cream. I'm going to do a cap full of vanilla. Okay. And I really like the Mexican vanilla. And then we're going to add in our powdered sugar. Should I measure this just because? Okay. So I'm going to add a cup at a time just so I can get the measurements right for y'all. But we typically don't measure our frosting. Okay. One. Two. I'm just gonna cream these together. Now you can definitely use a mixer for this, but I actually enjoy this process. Just be careful, don't be aggressive because I typically get powdered sugar all over me. I like to use the silicone spatula. I press as I combine it because the powdered sugar can have, you see how there was a lump right there? So I just press as I combine it. Try to get it smooth and evenly incorporated. Let's taste it and see if it's sweet enough. Mm -mm, not yet. Okay, so I'm gonna add another half a cup. Okay. No, it's good. It's perfect. All right, so it's down to the timer and we cooked it for approximately 40 minutes, okay? So when it was almost finished, when well, we did 35, yeah. Cause we did 35 first and I added an extra five minutes. So 35 minutes, ooh. All right, so I'm gonna move it now to a cooling rack. That looks good, baby. They feel nice. Nice buoyancy. All right, so now it's time for our toppings. So first I'm gonna do the strawberries because they're easy to clean out of the pan. And all I did was wash them really, really well. And then I cleaned them lastly in warm water to get them soft. And then I got the middle out and I just used a straw. But I'm gonna start with my strawberries and I'm just gonna put them in a warm saucepan. and I'm gonna muddle them. If you don't have um, fresh strawberries, you can definitely use frozen ones, which I like to use for my glaze. And as they start to soften up more, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my um, lemon juice, my fresh lemon juice. The lemon juice definitely helps break them down. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in my, this is bone char free um, cane sugar. I'm gonna sprinkle that in there. That's gonna help with our glaze effect. And since I'm letting it come to a simmer, I'm gonna go ahead and put in a little bit of cornstarch to help thicken it up a little bit. Just whisk that in really well. 
Let it come to like a like a low boil, and then I'm gonna turn it off the heat because that'll it'll thicken as it cools. But it needs to come to a slight boil first, as you can see. Oh, it smells so good. So as you can see, it came to a complete boil. So I'm gonna turn the heat off, and then I'm gonna just let it come down. Now, typically I would let it cool in this pot, but since I need to use the pot for my next um, topping, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it to a glass dish. Okay, so I'm gonna let that cool, and then we're gonna get ready to do our pecan praline topping. Okay, so I'm gonna add the pecans to the skillet before I add anything else because I want them to slightly toast just a tiny bit. And like move them around just for a second, literally not even a minute, y'all. Okay, so it's been less than a minute and now I'm gonna go ahead and add in my butter, my vegan butter. This is optional. I like to use the butter because it gives it that butter pecan feel, and I like that. And then I'm gonna add in my brown sugar. And then you're just gonna stir. As that sugar melts, the butter melts, it's gonna start caramelizing. All right, so this is basically turning into candy, so now I need to turn the heat off because I don't want it to get hard. I just wanted it to caramelize. See that? Ooh. And for the last one, we're just gonna do Oreos and I'm literally just gonna put them in a Ziploc bag and crush them up. And that's it for that. All right, y'all, so y'all got to skip to the end, just like we said, it's not fair. It's 1 a.m. We got them to settle. I went ahead and got them out of the um, pan. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make three different types. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a base on each one. So the frosting is the base, and all I'm gonna do is just put some on top and then smooth it around. I'm gonna do that on each one. It is the next day. So we are trying them. The rest of them are gone. Our children love them so much. They had the Oreo and the pecan praline and the strawberry, so. I gotta see whether or not you messed this up. Oh, I don't know, man. Oh, mm. hold on. Pencils down. <laughs> that tastes like breakfast to me. I did that. 
Just move out the way. Oh. Excuse me. Coffee and cheesecake. I'm about to go to the gym. Mm -hmm. So. I can't stop. It's so good. Babe, did you taste that strawberry syrup? Yeah. It, I've been sopping it all up. It has the perfect amount of sweet and sour. Y'all hear that scrapage going on? Hold on, let me get, let me mix them together. Don't do it. Oh, shit. I don't think I can say oh, shit. People do it all the time. It's, a, it's definitely an oh, shit moment right now. This is really good. I know. It's my recipe. I, I told you that. All right, y'all, so there you have it. Our cheesecake, not- Wait, our cheesecake? <laughs> don't overcomplicate it. Put your own toppings on there. That and That's the game changer, putting it in the smaller containers, um, six pan containers, instead of putting it in a big pot because people have different taste buds and like how we were able to have three different toppings. So definitely let us know if you tried that out. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click the notification button so you'll be notified whenever I upload videos. Thank you so much for letting me try your recipe. You're still making it from now on. No, I'm not. No. I make everything else. You can make this. No, I'm good. You know, I was serious. Y'all want to, you know, cash out your boy, Zell, Venmo, PayPal. You don't have any of those. MoneyGram, Instagram, like any of the grails. Send them to me. Oh my and, God. you know, I might let y'all have a recipe, maybe. But that's it, that's all I got. Bye y'all. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna go to the gym now.